powered by Virginia. Radio. It's the big face bully, your boy Boz in the building. You already know what time it is. Hey, it's your boy Six Sense. Man, with this shit might get us cancer. Fuck with this guy, man. Oh, man. Like, look, man. We going to talk about it. We going to hit you with the things that you want to say, but you just can't say it. We going to say it here. And we going to let you know what we were smoking while we were saying it. And just always know that we always come from a place of love, respect, and honesty. We ain't trying to be disrespectful, but the things we going to say are going to be truthful. And you have to understand that truth hurts. In reality, the truth hurts and the lie feel good. But on this show... The truth gonna feel good and the lie don't exist. That's how we do it over here. <laughs> Mike and Cancer trying to do that though. Like <laughs> we about we about facts. F your feelings. Facts over feelings is the motto. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Facts yeah. over feelings. Yeah. How, how, how you doing, young man? I, I'm doing pretty good, okay. man. Um, okay. I, I can't complain too much, but mm -hmm. um, I, I I would like to talk about you and, and things that that I heard. What? what, what <laughs> Okay. Some, okay. Some, some things I, I that can, I, 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 I can I, already see where this is gonna go. I, I so heard, you know what I'm saying? Like, what that, did you hear, young man? I, well, well, I heard that you you smoke somebody's boots on on stage in a little battle, and, and people feel a certain type of way about that. Now, good morning, everybody. Uh, okay, man. let's talk about it. This is what. Okay, so what happened last night? A uh, shout. To Tom Lounge, shout to Blade Brown, Jack of Spade, Daniel, everybody at uh, Tom Lounge last night. Uh, who won it Wednesdays? Big shout to uh, 514. He won the joint. Big salute to him. Uh, right now, the, 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 the second place winner, please escape my mind. I'm the third place winner, and I didn't even go for a trophy. I was there for something totally different. But I got a trophy. She was lit. I, I promise, promise you it was a good time in there. But a friend of mine... And I gotta say his name because this, this, is, this is what we do. This might get us canceled. We keep it a band at all costs. A friend of mine, the day before, Machine Moses, Van, uh, yeah, Van, beat maker extraordinaire, exceptional rapper. He could definitely spit, but we'll get to that in a second. Um, uh, it's my brother, I love him to death. Um, but he thought it would be cool to have challenged me to uh, a song for song thing. So he called me out to this thing, which was, ended up being, you know, Who Run It Wednesdays, the first one, by the way. So I'm like, bro, nah, you know what I mean? Do that, man, go ahead, man. No, nah, you know, just be a nice, you know, nice camaraderie, you know? I'm like, I right, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? You wanna do it, let's do it. But I'm, so now I'm in battle mode, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm in kill mode, let's, 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 let's play. But the whole time, I'm like, yo, you my brother, you know it's love. Let's fast forward to the situation. The night, which was last night, phenomenal night, we was together. Oh, wow. We smoked, we conversated, we got lives together, we got pictures together, right? Okay. We, I even sit on the live, with him standing next to me, I'm going to smoke him. He thought it was a good idea to challenge me song for song. This was an inside thing. This was not part of the event. This was just between he and I, his people, my people. We only knew what was going on. So he goes first. He did a dope song. It was hard. He did some things in the performance that wasn't, you know, performance, you know, but we're not here to critique that. We just here, you know. So I'm like, okay, bro, but he had the crowd rocking with him, though. Okay. So now it's time for me to perform. I get up there. I call him on the stage. I say, yo, come up here with me, man, as, as my brother. Come up here with me. No malicious shit intended. So stuff, excuse my language. We got to get our stuff together. We got people watching us. We about to go up five, I promise you. So I say, okay, look, man, um, come up here with me. So he comes up there. And the song comes on. I did, a, a, I did like maybe eight bars of one song, and then I did my new single, Fake Gangster, Be Around the World Everywhere Tomorrow. August, for, I mean, October 14th, it's going down. You can't stop it, Fake Gangster Everywhere. DDMG, CLE, you know what it is, the we, big we, face. We're we, we going to pause for a second. Go ahead. So, so you brought him on stage. So I brought him on stage, and um, and you had a song called, called Fake, Fake Gangster. Gangsta. I performed the song using him as the person I was asking each and every question to. So, 
were you asking him, was he a fake gangster? No, the song in actuality is actually a classic of mine that I never had a beat to. Okay. So I finally got the right beat to it, and I finally married the two. I actually used to perform this song back in the day with a suit on and have the same reaction I had last night. But you see, when you go to war, you got to understand how to use a bullet. A bullet can't hurt you unless it come out of a gun. So you think. Oh, man. Like, um, you know, I, I've been accused of having a smart mouth. Yeah, your mouth is reckless. We it ain't smart. It's reckless. I, like well, you couldn't even like be like just like no, no. I want you to since he want to start this. I want you to tell me, give me something where you where you say is a smart mouth. We gonna say is it smart or reckless? Tell me, give me something you would tell somebody. How you, first of all, how are you gonna put me on the spot? Because you just said that you, you don't have a smart mouth. You have, you have a smart mouth. No, say a reckless mouth. You said I just start this. We on camera. You can't trick me. You started this. Right? All right. All right. Okay. All right. I'm ready. Like, um, mm -hmm. like sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. See, what had happened was, anytime you start a conversation with that nonsense, you already know what direction it's just going. Well, first <laughs> of all, I was having a bad day that day. Okay. I didn't have any cigarettes. Okay. And she was asking for trouble. Okay. I, I, ain't, I ain't like her, and she was just talking mad, like, trash. And I didn't, didn't like it. Did I add that in there? Did I say that already? You just now did. But I didn't want to hear what you said, though. All right, well, look. This is this is with no cigarettes, having a bad day, and every else, everything else he said in between that. Go ahead. Now, this is his reaction to no cigarettes, bad day, and everything else he said. Go on. All right, so she, she kind of, like... We were arguing. She was like, that's why you ain't got any kids. And I kind of looked at her and I was like, just because I know how to use a condom, clearly you don't. And... And she has children. Oh, man. It, see, like, now, me personally... <laughs> I would shoot you. <laughs> I didn't mean to come off this way. What you mean? But, like, she pissed me off. Remember, I ain't had no cigarettes. Bro, you can't say that. This is why I know how to use condoms and you don't. Her children are a direct result of this. Wait, what's it? I'm, I'm getting because it gets worse. Oh, oh, oh wait. You said some more fucked up. <laughs> Excuse me. Some more messed up stuff. Because I told her 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 kids was a constant reminder of of the horse she really was. <laughs> and um, but see, that's not my fault because her first seed was like a result of her of a dude <laughs> running train on her, man. I wait. And she took okay, the wrong dude okay. to Hold up. Hold up. Slow down for a minute. You told this woman your children are a direct result for you being a whore? No, I said our constant reminder. Our constant reminder of you being a... Because one of them was actually from a train. Like, it was well known around the hood that he was conceived on the train. So one of her children is conceived way past illegitimately, of course. I mean, of course, and that means he might have multiple DNA in him. Is what I'm saying. Like, Are you still with this woman? No, I, I see the smartest thing I did was wear a condom. Like that is the answer to the question. Are no, you still with this woman? No, it was the one that I was saying. Like I said, oh. it, it, the smartest thing I did was wear a condom. You don't think none of that shit is harsh? Like, excuse my language. You don't think none of that is harsh? As far as saying. Your children are a constant reminder. She started it, and I had no cigarettes. And I stand by what I said. This, if, if you can cancel anyone. <laughs> I'm just saying, if you can cancel anyone. Like, no, <laughs> nah, okay, okay. So let me ask you a real question now. How would you feel if that was your sister, that some man made that particular statement to. Well, see, if it was my sister, mm -hmm. I'm going to know her activities. And I hope... How I, would you know that? Well, I, I, I hopefully, you going to know if your sister is out there running the streets. How? You going to know because people How? Are, people going to tell you. How? Because she could live in she could live in Richmond and be dotting and bobbing in Chesterfield. Because she could live in Chesterfield, be dotting and bobbing in Franklin. Camera phones. Camera phones? People don't play no more. They record everything. Like, look, this your sister. This your sister. Look at her. Look at her. Ah, 
she was getting it. She was getting it. <laughs> well, you, yeah, you got a point with that one. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah man. But at the same time, no, still. You got to, I'm going to say this. You are a brash individual to talk to. Like, even in general conversation, even before we started the show, right now, this nigga can say some crazy shit. <laughs> You say some wild stuff, like, but I, but so what I'm saying is, you gotta learn empathy, nigga. I mean, you gotta excuse me, words. I'm trying to be nice. We trying to keep it clear. We got people watching us. We trying to do our shit together. You just make me curse, cause you, like, but I understand. So let me ask you this: You got nephews? No, I'm the only child. You the only kid. Yeah. Your daddy ain't got no kids, mm. and your mama ain't got no kids. No, just you. Me. I get it now, man. I understand. I understand that. I understand. I understand. It's a it's a lonely world. Yeah, well, I, mean, I get it. So you don't have no nieces, no brothers, no no play cousins. I mean, I had cousins, but we was at war back <laughs> in the day. Like I tell you, like when I was um when I was younger, and see, my I had to teach him early. Cause he was mm-hmm. five years like older than me, okay. and like and me and my cousin always get into it. Mm-hmm. So like. He 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 got the better of me. I'm gonna say it like that. When y'all were younger, or when you were older. When I was younger. Okay. What about now? I uh, know it ain't happening. But <laughs> that go for it. That day, he turned his back on me, man. And I ran up there and did a football punt to punt to his nuts from the back. He was on the ground. Then I started tagging him in the back of the head. Ran to my mom. Was twenty five. <laughs> oh, we got a thing we used to say when you say some shit that sound kind of extreme. <laughs> Twenty five. That was a little far. You football nut. You football kicked his nuts from the back. Yeah, just like yo, I I, <laughs> I tried the motherfucker put them shits in his stomach. I was like, you gonna learn today. You gonna learn today. <laughs> so what the, was the response to that dumb shit? Well, see, I ran behind my mom, so he couldn't do nothing after that one. But he was upset, like he was not okay. happy. But ever since okay. then, he had a he had a a, a respect. I'm gonna say a grudge and respect. So like I would you imagine, see, you do something to me, do not turn your back. So how old is how old is this gentleman now? You like forty? Yeah, so he's forty five now. Cause he was, we were talking about this shit a couple of years ago, and I was like, yeah, like. You understand why I had You know what, why I did that to you. Yeah. I football kicked your nuts from the back. Yeah. Don't you ever play with me again Nigga. in your life. Nigga. Because I football kicked them joints. Got the move, the move. Like, like, like <laughs> imagine if Charlie Brown was kicking a ball and Lucy never moved that much. That, well, did move moved down. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah that's, 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 that's how it happened, man. All right, cut this in. Let me ask you a question. What's up with your man Kanye's accounts getting frozen, bro? Allegedly. All right. Allegedly. Kanye's accounts been frozen for allegedly being... Okay, we're going to talk about the White Lives Matter t-shirt. White Lives Matter. Do you support the White Lives Matter movement? Honestly. Don't lie. Honestly, I don't care. You look like a Kanye was supporting that ass nigga. Keep your band with you. You You do like you support anything Kanye do. Yes. Kanye. All day. Team Yay. But I'm gonna say he was smart for that though. Why? Because like the trend has been like this one lady, she actually um spoke up for Trump and they tried to cancel her. And because they tried to cancel her, whoa, whoa, what the fuck? Excuse me, like, I'm a, cancel. They they tried to they, they cancel her. You know what I'm saying? As far as because she how spoke, do you cancel them? I mean because like hey look, you know the name of the show, man. We ain't gonna go there. <laughs> All right. You won't care to us. I don't care what the title is. Damn it! <laughs> but because she actually spoke up for Trump, um, she had over three hundred thousand people buy her song that weekend. Just that weekend. So you saying, you saying anybody that attached themselves to the White Lives Matter Donald Trump situation is basically using it as a marketing scheme, possibly publicity. But I generally think he believes in it. Of course, the, of course, he believes in it. I'm talking about the artist. Because the thing about it is, how many streams are you going to... It's going to be some dude in West Virginia who's like, you know, I didn't know about that Kanye West fellow, but you know what? I, I, I'm going to see what this boy means a lot. You sound like a real white dude from real help town. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you something. You sound like a hillbilly. This is the redneck word of the day. 
with you, did you? Y'all pay attention. This is our spokesman to the big face bully with the redneck word of the day. With you, did you? This is how you use the word with you, did you? Redneck word of the day. Hey there, Six Sense. What you got going on there, buddy? Hey, you ain't got your microphone with you, did you? <laughs> okay. Oh. You got the right word. You got. You got. <laughs> you got what? What's your What's your redneck word? You know what? Get her done. Get her done. <laughs> that's like that's gonna be always my favorite though. But like we 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 did get it out. Done. We, we, what you did you and get her done. But I'm gonna carry it back though. Now what happened with the the um the Moses situation? In the Bible, Moses? Oh no, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, so I go up there and I perform this song called Fake Gangster with him on stage. And in essence, I smoke his boots. Yeah, I said it. I ain't going to act like I didn't. It was a friendly competition between friends. I, that's what I was told. But afterwards, and the next day, I get a lot of phone calls, a lot of inboxes. And apparently, I, I, bat, I disrespected the man, apparently. Supposedly. Supposedly. Like, really? Like, what? Like how did he feel about that? He, keeping the band, I talked to him after the performance, and he even kind of expressed his, his discontent with what happened. But I explained to him like this, right? This is real talk. He told me the reason his discontent comes from a place of outside looking in. He said, and I quote, man, it's perception, boss. I said, let me tell you something. I'm going to say it again on national television and on the internet and all over the place. Listen, at the end of the day, this is what it comes down to. I don't live my life based on what I believe someone thinks of me. If that is how you live, that means you're living that person's life. That's that person's perception of you. You can walk around with suspenders up to here and glasses and stickers and Coke bottles. Somebody can say you blind as hell. You ever heard of Kaiser Sosa? You ever heard it? You ever seen the movie Usual Suspects? Yeah. There are people that have alias behaviors along with alias identities. So you gotta understand when you when you I don't live like that. I live who I am. If you know who I am, then you know I meant no ill intent. If you weren't about my song making someone make you feel that you are what I said, then you need to go to them and get it straight with them. So so I'm gonna ask you a pertinent question. Then. Yes. Alright. Do you think it was solely his thinking or somebody got in his ear? Of course somebody put a battery in his back. Common sense, this is my brother. Right. Understand this. I was just on the phone with him before we got there. What are we talking about? You got to understand. I, it's people that seen the conversation. He knows it. Because I, I, I mess with Moses. Michelle. It's my man. He's my bro. Yeah, I'm not yeah. mad at him. I just feel like he's being real extra sensitive right now. I feel like if he the one, our little agreement, you know what he would have did? I would my chain says spit bars, that's my name. If he would have went out there and did that, I would have gave him the chain. Because you did what you said you came to do. But you you, you got it in your feelings because I did what I came and said I came to do, and it was between me and you. But Nobody you say, even knew. But you say my mouth is smart. I just want to like put that on. But that wasn't smart. Is, is, this, is that smart, big bro? It's nothing, that's nothing. Yo, you jumped out the window. I told you you can't play with me, boy. I told you that. I do this. You could, you rap, you nice. No question at that. But stick to making beats. You want to pee in your feelings. This is what happens when you, man, you in your feelings because I spanked you. So what? Well. So what? I didn't disrespect you. I gave you a hug and showed you love. And anybody that don't know the behind the scenes story, that's what happened. We had an inside friendly bet, and it went wrong for one of us, as boxing matches do. You think Mike Tyson ain't feels the way when he got knocked out the first time? Riddick Bo, Muhammad Ali, they still went to have drinks. Cut this shit loose. Anyway, still my man, the Machine Mo, say my beat producer, and he rap, bro. He just can't perform with a fuck. That's all. <laughs> I ain't lying. You showed up yesterday. What happened? Fumble! Still my nigga though. Stop playing with me. See, you started this because you, you ain't the way you gonna take some weeks to come back with another song. I'm gonna beat you with the same song again. <laughs> no laugh. Don't encourage my stupidity. <laughs> Cause I keep going with this shit. Anyway, that's my nigga though. All jokes aside, Machine Moses fan, that's my brother. Everybody know I love him. If y'all don't know no better, he recorded most of my shit since I've been home. You've been with you. So that's where we at. Besides Coop Charlotte. You know.
Tay Tay Blunt. But that's where we at. <laughs> All right, we 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 gonna take another turn on this yes. right quick. All right, we gonna about talk about Charleston White. I love Charleston White. But did you see how he came at Ti son? I don't like Ti son. I, I gotta keep it a band with you. I don't like the he like a little muppet baby running crazy, like a real live turkey dog. He do look funny though. He's like a real life turkey dog. But he, might look, he don't like a turkey dog. Run, 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 run. Who's the lady he screamed on in the restaurant? He was in the restaurant acting a whole fool. Like, I see, well, see, like for you as a turkey dog, I think he looked like one of those fraggles from Fraggle Rock. A Fraggle Rock. A Fraggle Rock. That's a real mean. life, a Muppet Baby. A real live Muppet Baby. Same. Yes. A Muppet. I don't, because his attitude is fucked. Excuse me, mm-hmm. it was jacked up. Well, see, the thing about it is he's trying to fill his father's shoes. That's how I feel. How can you fill your father's shoes? You ever been through what your father been through? It makes no sense to even attempt. What? And now, I seen T.I. straighten him, though. I did see T.I. get on and say, hey, man, you know, that was a song, allegedly. But I seen T.I. straighten him and tell him, you know, like, come on, man. But I also seen T.I. try to justify the lame shit, too, though. And I don't really care for the justification part because at the end of the day, he's still a child. You know what I'm saying? And he doing whack shit. We gonna, we gonna call he doing lame nigga shit when keep it a band. Like he doing he doing he doing push up in the club type shit. Everybody if you don't know what the push up in the club is, that's an inside joint. I'ma say it right now so whoever watch it, you can get the inside joke. I went to a club, nigga tells me to do a dance off and I did push ups in the middle of the fucking club. Fuck you, I don't care, I did it, it's over with. Now, he did some push up in the club type shit. Mm. Real nigga shit. Lame shit. In the way shit. And then you know he came at Boosie's son too. In the same situation because you know how people get in their ears like, man, you T.I. son, you supposed to be running this, you supposed to be holding that. But if you T.I. son respect, the man has businesses, you know what I'm saying? The man has equity, he he owns property. Respect that your, your father's a walking brand himself. If, if you respect your father, you trying to live up to an image he, he used to be when he was younger. If anything, at this moment, your behavior and ways and actions is tarnishing T.I.'s image. To keep it bad Because T.I. is about positivity And uplifting the neighborhood Well let me ask you a question Because it is, it's like a difference between Him and Romeo What Romeo? Last to be Romeo? See Romeo I never liked Romeo Well see the thing about it <laughs> I was always team Bow Wow I'm sorry That was probably in left field But I loved Bow Wow before I loved Romeo Damn Romeo Shout out to Bastard Pito I mean uh, Bow Wow I, 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 Man Bow Wow got some smash hits You crazy I mean, Remember when he started rapping like T.I.? You ain't ballin' like I'm ballin', you ain't fresh as I'm his. Tip, I know you wrote this shit. Stop playing. <laughs> Remember he had the front? He had to put the front in his mouth? Come on, man. You know you had that Bow Wow shit. Stop playing. I, I just, I didn't, I didn't. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna keep it 100, man. Keep it back. I, I just couldn't get it because they were so young. Man, you music know? is music. Just you just came up and singing old some female shit. You you, you know a female so much you don't know Bow Wow. Don't get the fuck out of here. Cut it out. We not doing this. It was just like Bow Wow nice. Okay, the face you, you ain't fucking with Bow Wow. You old Master P. Shout out to Master P. But I don't care for. Well, 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 see, like the thing about it is, I give P credit for for, what? for a lot of things because for P. What? He did a lot of firsts for a lot of people. I, the first is what he get acknowledged before. He like the nigga that made the stop. Like, cool, I get it. But he had some whack niggas on his team. Who cute man? So the shocker. I don't care if his brother. He's trash. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was yeah, yeah. He was trash. Yeah, yeah, what was he saying? Yeah. Yeah. No. I. I, I <laughs> his ad libs class with his ad libs. <laughs> the fuck? No. He, he made money off of them. He ate off of them. Great. Uh, all of them. Just, Just like. One hundred percent. The nigga came off trash and made gas stations, clothing lines, sneakers, everything. Couldn't salute act, made movies. I mean, Couldn't act, made movies. I mean, like, but salute to them because they did it, and that's how you do it. Because that's perseverance. That's the thank you. That, that he showed you the way to do it. It ain't about talking about it. It's about getting to it. And that's why I salute Master P and the whole no limit movement. Real talk. The point that I was making though is because like Romeo. I don't like Romeo. Though. Well, but <laughs> Romeo's a lot chiller than what's going on now. Do you think that today's younger rappers are uh, or young men are under more scrutiny than they were, say, ten years ago, twenty years? They ago? put themselves under the scrutiny. Keep it with you. 
Okay, there's, explain. There's subject matter, they content, the things they say in their music, the things they portray in their videos. They put themselves in a line to see, to be looked at a certain way. Uh, if I come up with a song right now, my name is Spit Bars. I went out and performed a song called Fake Gangsta. If you listen to the song, the first half of the song tells you what you do when you act like you a gangster. The second uh, half talks about the pitfalls and the ills that come against somebody trying to be a gangster. But if I come out with a song and say, I call my op, he was at the block, in the barber shop, and I got a shot, and it was three o'clock. You know what I'm saying? I'm giving you play by play, and you can go back and see videos that got shot at the barber shop at three o'clock up the block. And then they use that to unlock. And the then they way. implicate you under some shit, but I don't agree with that. I'm gonna keep it a band. I do not agree with using lyrics because guess what? Sometimes you can say something that can mimic it, or you might even know something about it or heard something about it, and you had nothing to do with it. You could be the dude that used to sit in the window when you was in the projects, <laughs> never went outside. But heard everything that was going on downstairs because she was always in the window. Mm. So just because she was always in the window didn't mean you couldn't write your experiences, what you heard, put it to a beat, and come up with a story. Go with it. You heard it. You got to get on the school bus. You hear your friends talking about it. So understand, like, there's fabrication in every aspect of life. So I don't believe no one should be able to use the freedom of speech. This is America. Uh-huh. We built different, supposedly. Ask, mm. All right, boy. Wait, 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 you know my opinion. On Supposedly. A lot, of, a, a lot of this Americans, you know I'm a, a conspiracy head, so. Yeah, yeah. I know you is. Sure. You like the government taking over the black woman, don't you? What the hell? Yeah. The See, hell? I told you I'm going to get your ass. I wasn't going to forget. You said some wild stuff in the car, but I'm going to let it go right now. Oh, no. Let no, it no, go. No, no, because no, I don't know. I don't know what I said. Well, see, I'm just, if I'm, I apologize if I'm just no, no, What I said. Or what you said, I'm saying. <laughs> you know what I'm like, saying. Because what I was saying was they use welfare to kick the black man out of the house. That's what Section 8 is example. Well, see, that, that was the whole point. Who is that? Somebody calling in. Wait a minute. How you do this? Hit the button. I can't see nothing. Hello? They going to call back. Somebody called in. We live. We rocking. Somebody call back. Call back. Whatever you do. Right here. Got you. So, now what now? Pick it up, hit sweetie. Hello? Who this? Oh! Oh! Shit. Oh! Oh, shit. oh! Man! Oh, shit. Now, this is what I'm talking about. What's good, big bro? How you What? Hello? Yo. Turn, down. turn your volume down a little bit, please. Turn your volume down a little bit. I I what's the word, big bro? What's the word? Come on, pull up and come live with us. Come on, pull up. You come as a dub, pull up. Nah, we ain't waiting for all that, man. You on the line, don't lie. This is Machine Moses. This is my brother Van. Yeah, all right, so what's good? You, you good? You on the phone? What's the word? Talk back. We listening? Yeah, you live. Yeah, like you on the podcast right now. I want to hear your take. That's what you called in for, apparently. I'm listening to you right now. Yo, what up? Who you trying? Somebody in your background is yelling, bro. Tell them to relax their nerves, calm down, and turn your volume down. Yeah, the volume on is- no, I don't got nobody. I ain't got nobody here yelling, bro. Turn your volume down wherever you at. Turn your volume on your phone, the TV, wherever you at. We can hear all that nonsense. Whatever you watching in the background, turn it off. Turn it off. All right, now, you, can, you sound way better right now. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I can hear that, but I, I can't hear him, though. Who you want to hear? Who you want to talk to? I want to talk to Boz. You are talking to Boz. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, my bad. It's hard, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Good evening, everybody. Hey, man, look, man. 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 Hey, Uh, uh, it's, I, I guess that's the way you uh, presented it. You, you, you baited me and switched me out on stage, bro. You know what I mean? You, you got you to choke me because of me, bro. 
So can you please elaborate? What What do you feel like? I asked you this this last night, bro. When I feel. Well, my question to you is, what made me? What did I do on stage? Because you know, I admit, man, I kind of forgot this on COVID the second half of that verse, maybe a day or two before I uh, before, before my performance. Oh, okay. So I get ready for okay. Okay, your my critique. No, I was critiquing your performance. No, no, no. Okay, no. What I was when you heard me speak on earlier was I was critiquing your performance from a purely opponent standpoint. Number one, as a performer, I don't care who you are. You never turn your back to the crowd, bro. You never do that. I don't care if you got the hottest song in America. If you turn your back to the crowd because you forgot the words, use a dub, and you did it. I pulled you on stage because, as I said in the beginning, and the, the footage is out there, This I got it myself, matter of fact. I said, come on stage and join me as my brother. We had a friendly competition. This, Yo, hold up. You asked me a question. Allow, allow me to finish. Allow me to finish. You're not allowing me to finish. You cannot speak for me. You're not allowing me to finish, bro. How? You've been in your feelings since last night. This is my first time talking to you. I didn't, yo, bro, you talked last night because you was in your feelings. I didn't say nothing. What are you talking about? We didn't, we didn't say it did, but the way you, it's, it's the way. So me being with you all night, taking pictures. So hold up, let me ask you this. Me me smoking with you, drinking with you, taking pictures with you, going live with you, even before this, when we was on the group chat, before all of this, that don't show I love you, nigga. I even told you this day on the show. I just, yo, hold on, nigga, because I let you talk. You gonna let me talk now. You gonna let me talk now, because I let you talk. I gave you your respect, bro. Yo, I let you talk, bro. I let you talk, bro. I let you talk, bro. I let you talk. I'm asking for respect, bro. Let me come on, bro. I'm asking for that as, as two bro. Bro, listen what I'm listen, bro. Listen, bro. What up, man? Bro, listen, bro. You asked for something that I told you in the beginning. It was this friendly competition. This is what you asked for. You created this, bro. I didn't create this. I'm not mad. You the one mad. You got everybody hitting my phone, talking about I disrespected you and everything, because you in your feelings, because I spanked your ass, because you trash on the performance side. What's the problem? I, they, they, uh, uh, you, you, you said it yourself. You said it yourself. You said, you said it yourself. So fuck you right, forget everybody else. I'm going over what Van said. Van was in his feelings. This is our podcast. This ain't just his, this is ours, you dumb smart nigga. What you talking about? So what you trying to shoot a shot or something? Let me know what you trying to do, bro. Let your feelings fly. Let your feelings fly now. We can let them fly. I don't care. You, you I spoke to you yesterday, nigga. I cooked your ass. All right. You can hang up all you want. You watching the live? That's why you called in. I cooked you, nigga. I cooked you, nigga. I got an idea. I cooked you. Hold on. I got you. You gonna get another song and I'm gonna cook you with the same song, How nigga. I fixed you. I told you you can't do this. Now eat the plate like I made it for you to do. Eat it. I got an idea. Look, look, look. Like, yo, before you go on, bang, 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 bang. Bang, Because I can't stand black people. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why I can't stand it. Because it's black people like you. It's, listen to me. Now, listen. Now, so you see. Hold here. on. No, hold on, man. Do the not, let me say this is where the real coming at. Hold on. Okay, so if you never did nothing to me and you know me, why would you think I did something to you? Make it make sense. So, so, so listen. So let me let me break it down to you now. It's people like you, right? The sad part is I got at least seven people that knew behind the scenes that your stupid ass created this dumb ass shit. You jumped out the window. The sad part is you couldn't take the outcome and now you in your feelings and you trying to make it like I'm mad? No, I'm not mad. Yo, hold on for a minute, bro. Come on, bro. Yo, listen, bro, because you're not listening. I want you to hear me all the way clearly. Let me finish my statement, big bro. Nah, I cooked you. 
I cooked you. After you bummed out in your performance, I put you on the open flame because I thought you was a nice piece of flounder and I don't even eat fish. All right, let's do it then. Let's do it then. Let's do it on the show. You sit right here next to me. We go song for song. Let the people judge it. What's up? We go song for song. Let the people judge it. I just asked you. Let's do it like that. Because you keep thinking. Let me tell you what's wrong with people like you. I didn't play nothing. What you say? This song is old as hell. You and your feelings. Because I smoked you with an old song. <laughs> smoked your way. The song is not even written for you. What are you talking about? It's a friendly competition, yo. I was supposed to be the better performer than you. You were supposed to be the better performer than me. You bummed out. You had a bum moment. And now you mad at me because you stood looking in the mirror. And it's yourself looking like a bum in your face. I got bummed out. Damn. Forgot my own words. So why It happens. What's the problem? You won't let me finish my true statement. I, yo, I never, yo, I, this is what I said to keep it in band. Because if you listen to the whole thing, bro, and if you listen to everybody I talk to and the same people that's probably talking to you, I've been giving you your flowers, dummy, but you ain't listening because you want to be in your feelings. So I'm going to tell you what, since you wasn't in your feelings, you had no reason to be in your feelings, I'm going to give you one to be in them. I cooked you. Now fix it. I cooked you. Now fix it. Cause I'm trying to tell you something. You won't let me finish, bro. Let me fi let me let me finish it, bro. Let me finish my truth real quick, please. You won't let me, cause you always gotta open your mouth like a female when you argue with her when she knows she did wrong. Shut your mouth for a second. Let me show you something. Let me show you something about life and how you show respect. Let me show you how you show respect. You can't, yo. Listen, listen. I don't. I'm definitely not, bro. I promise you. I'm in a good space today. It's the best day of my life. You you can't... There's nothing no one can do to knock me off what I went through today. I promise you that. Well, you be with tomorrow. Will you be tomorrow? Well, let me tell my truth why you on the phone. You can hang up when you stay. You can listen. I don't care which one you do. You watching me. I'm not watching you. So let's pay attention to that difference. Listen what I'm telling you. You can't erase my truth. If I'm telling you as a man that whatever I did was not intended to harm you or disrespect you or defame you or characterize your character in a clown way, then you cannot erase my truth and put your personal feelings there and then react on that and treat me as such. That is wrong, bro. You can't do that. My nigga, because you ain't your feelings. You said something last night. My lady know it. Everybody know it. Jack of Spade know it. Blade Brown know it. Everybody know it. Everybody know it. You spoken to me, so like I said, let's exclude all of them, and let's just talk about what you told me when I came off stage. You said perception, man. Them niggas gonna look at it like you trying to clown me, man. So I'm your nigga that love you, ate Thanksgiving with you, spent Christmas with you, tell you I love you, call you on the regular, nigga. All that good shit, nigga. You looked out for me, I looked out for you like we supposed to do, like brothers, and you feel like I shitted on you? Lose your common sense, bro. Whoever you listening to, tell that parent go eat a cracker and go die somewhere. It doesn't matter, I talked to you about it and you admitted it. So what does it matter? That's irrelevant. I talked to the horse itself. I talked to the horse itself. I talked to the horse itself. The horse itself is on the phone. Did you, did you not tell me you felt some sort of way? You on the phone now. See, now you ain't trying to keep it in band, you see? You see how a nigga do? Now I just, you see how a nigga, that's how he do. I love you, he love you too, bro. And you my man, you know I love you, big bro. I don't care if you mad, I smoked you, now fix it. I love you, man. I'm gonna come record with you tomorrow or something. I don't care. I love you, man. You my guy. You got mad because I cooked you. Don't call. No, nah, I'm not gonna hang up on you, bro. But at the end of the day, if we're gonna have a, a real conversation to be real truthful, then you have to let me speak as much as I let you speak. So. I did. I talked to you last night, didn't I? You was drunk. I, I didn't drink nothing last night. So, so, so why would you pull up on me last night about it if it's not how you handle shit then? Why not cook it? Yo, I gotta go, man. Hey. Listen. Yo, I got a live. Yo, listen how stupid you sound. We got a live. Listen, listen. Hold up, listen. We got a live together with me holding you and you holding me, right? This
this how dumb you are. Listen, bro, we got a live together where I'm holding you, you holding me, and we both threatening each other to say, yo, I'm going to show you up, and you like, I'm going to show you up. Of course, we didn't use those words. Let me calm myself down because I got people watching us, and I'm tripping. Then what's the part then? What, what is the feelings coming at then? What I'm confused at. I just want to say this. What you want? Hold on. What you want? Go ahead. Go ahead. I want you to. I want to say this. Now he was the one that gonna tell me that my mouth was out of control. I want them. I hey. want to just like go on record and say that, and I've been vindicated. Thank That's you. not right though, because I did something because my brother provoked it. That's not right. Now you challenging my character. You challenging my level of love for you, bro. That's not fair, bro. How I go all the way, bro? You act like I slapped you, called you all kind of whores, and wrote a song just for you. Bro, the song, oh, why you crying about lyrics that's only existed before I knew you existed? What? Bro, if it, how? A song that's going to be released tomorrow for the whole world everywhere, by the way. How, bro? It's a song, bro. You sound like a real not smart person right now, bro. What? I tell you what. Tell the people the truth. No, hold on. Tell the people the truth. Hold on. Cause no, no, nah, no. Nah, nah. This is the person you say hate you and try to play you. Tell the people the truth. You recorded more than half of my catalog, dummy. So I still got disrespect for you. Man, shut the, man, shut up, man. You a smart dumb dude right now. You my guy. I'm gonna call you later and curse you out in person in public person too, cause you dumb. You know you stupid. So who cares? You and your feelings, cause I smoked your boots and you ain't like it. So how? How? Why would you take? Yo, you just sit here and try to take my accomplishment. So listen, you took my accomplishment. Well, I'm going to say this, right, because this is where I'm at with it, my nigga. Everybody who ever feel, yo, listen, man, I'm going to listen, man, listen, 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 listen. If you ain't okay with it, there's only one way to fix it. Cook me like I cooked you. Go in your fucking, go in your studio. I said, I can't feel no way because I don't come from that place. You want me to feel that way because you feel that way. But unfortunately, I don't empathize with you right now, bro. I did what I came to do to you, and I fixed you, and I don't care how you feel about it. You got fixed because you started it. You should have left me alone. You should have never said you had a song that was Grammy-worthy, and you not Grammy-worthy for performing live. Stop playing with me. I smoked you. I didn't win. I killed you. I cooked you. You fried fish. And I got a trophy off you. Like you said earlier, you tried to disrespect my trophy. I got a trophy off you. It wasn't even, I wasn't even supposed to do the second song, dummy. So, I, I, who cares? It, it was, I wouldn't even know. I did it to help a friend out. It doesn't matter to me. I don't care about bombing. I didn't even come here for a trophy. I come to smoke you. And I did what I did to your bum ass. And I fixed you. And I made you get your feelings. And now you want somebody to hug you and rub your back and say, don't worry, man. Why it's going to be okay. Why it but it ain't going to be okay. Because bars is outside. Why? And you can't do nothing unless you come back with another hey, yo, song. Say, so don't like fix me. And hey, yo, why does it sound y'all like y'all arguing over a game with NBA Live? Because he can't play this game. He's a hell of a beat maker, producer extraordinaire, and he can really rap. He just can't perform live, as we seen last night. Oh, man. Cut this shit loose. I don't care. Don't get on my phone talking about you got a song going to get you a Grammy. You can fix me. Because I fixed you and you ain't get no Grammy. I, I'm not disputing. Yo, I heard the song. I fuck with the song. You misunderstand the point. I never went against your music. Thank you. Well, let's go song for song right here on Let This Might Get Us Canceled. What's up, nigga? Song for song. Bring your song. You sit next to me, me, six cents, and you in the middle. And we play my song against your song. And we let the people judge it. What's up, nigga? You talking. I'm not. What's up? What kind of excuses are we talking about here? How is it? I just gave you another challenge. I, you know what I did to you? You gave me a challenge and you failed, bum ass nigga. Now I gave you a challenge. You gonna take it? Come on, bro. We talking? Come, come on, bro. What we talking about? You bummed out? Did you bum out last night, bro? Did you bum out last night? Did you bum out last night? Did you bum out last night? 
did you because you bummed out last night. You turned your back. You bummed out. You's a bum ass nigga. You bum ass nigga. You bummed out last night. You forgot the words. You look in the mirror. This is what you did. Hey, hey, hey. Look at this. What he did last night, y'all. On, come on, man. All right, I, I'm gone. I gotta go. It's no way of cloud chasing. I gotta go. I love you, man. You my guy. If you. Okay, because I, I can't chase clout. you looking at me and you on the phone on our podcast. How can I clout chase that? That makes no fucking sense. You always do. I never said you didn't. What are you bringing? Why are you having this kind of conversation on live air, bro? Like, this is whack, bro. It's lame shit, bro. I ain't with it. I ain't with it. I ain't with it. I don't do lame shit. That's lame. He really in his feelings, as you can clearly see. He bringing up shit that's not having to do with the conversation. Y'all want to know the truth? The truth is the man jumped out the window and challenged me. I got everybody and their mom on the phone, and I say their name, but I'm not because I haven't talked to them, and they might not want to be revealed to who they were. But I promise you, it's more than six people that know that man challenged me and jumped out there, man. I'm not entertaining Tom Fool of me, man. That's negativity, and we not about that. We keep it a band, but that's, keeping it, that's taking it too far. You can't erase my truth. I didn't go out there to maliciously attack, attack that man in no kind of way. He knew that. We was together all night, so I'm not I'm not feeding to that. You want to feed to that? You just, that. You just, we, I just wasted the entire show. It was a good set, good piece though, because that needed to happen. Because he really feels some sort of way about it. It's not fair. Uh, you got another call? You know who it is. That's not it. It, it is. I put put money on it. Hello. Put put go in. Hello. It's speaking, man. Yo, who this? Hello. 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 That's somebody else. That wasn't him. Oh, we live, man. We lit now. This is what happens. Now, everybody gonna call it. But it's not, we didn't waste nothing. Let me tell you something about life. All right, pull up, pull up. Hello? Yo? Yes, it is. Who it is? This is Mr. Mo. Mr. Mo, what's the word, big bro? Lux gang in the building. Banging ass performance last night, my nigga. How you, bro? 100, my guy, 100, 100. What's the word, bro? Talk to me. You breaking up, bro. You breaking up real bad. Kind of like turn your phone down or back up from the speaker, bro. Please, you breaking up. You breaking up. That's all. Are you sure? Yeah, you, 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 you cook it like Crisco, baby. Yeah, we got you, baby. Okay, okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, hey, yo, yo, for what? Hey, yo, shout out to Power Papa J, yo, you know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, y'all love you, bro. Love you too, my guy, you already know. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Hey, yo, man, hey, yo, I, I'm just, I'm just waiting in because I was, I was shocked about it. Okay. I, Okay. This is what happened, man. Okay, I thank you for calling and thank you for giving me the opportunity and thank you for doing that, for asking, man. I thank you for that. You see, this is, thank you. Yes, you was. He was there for the whole event. One, one time. All right, what happened was the day before, we on it's me and, I, and I'm gonna I'm gonna just speak clear because I can do that. It's my story, so I can speak my truth. It's me and Ms. Thank you, brother. Nah, come on, bro. We know you ain't with that. Yeah. Thank you, man. I appreciate that sincerely, sincerely. Um, so what happened was. And, and I'm just, again, I'm just speaking my truth. I ain't throwing up. I'm just keeping it bad. So he calls me one day. Uh, a beautiful queen by the name of uh, Poison Ivy had a, a showcase, right? And he he, he ended up attending this, this show. Big shout to Abby. She always make a hell of noise. Big shout to 100. So he, um, he ends up going to her showcase, right? And he does his thing. So he got axed back, right? So now this Saturday, I'm performing live at Tom Lounge at an all-white party. He knows I'm going to be there, right? So he's like, yo, I'm going to be there. It's my birthday. I'm like, oh, all right, that's what's up. I see y'all performing there. So he's like, oh, word. I'm like, yeah, you come rock with me. He's like, no, nah, I did a song that they invited me back. 
I'm like, oh, salute, that's what's up. This is me and him on live chat now. I said, that's what's up. As we doing this, Bray Brown, the host from last night, calls in. Boom. He accepts the he, he accepts the call. So now it's me, Machine Moses, and Blade Brown. Machine Moses Van is on a tirade in a good way. He not he not no. I promise you, he's not disrespectful. And he's like, yo, bars. I got a good song. It's really dope, man. And I think it, it, it's gonna get me a Grammy. I want to battle you with it. And I'm like, what? He like, yeah, we can go song for song. I'm like, bro, what? I'm not. What are you talking about? Like, and he was like, yo, they, you know, come, it'll be fun. It just be, it'd be like some friendly competition. This is his exact words. I'm like, at first, I'm like, bro, I'm not even doing. It. I said, you know what, bro, I'm not even gonna come out. Fuck it, you got it, right? So I end up. Con- yes, sir. This no, this was this is when I was in a conversation with him and Blade Brown, right? So I. T- exactly. Exactly. Thank you. But okay, so okay, now now, Mr. Mo, I'm now, now my defense, right? In my defense, Mr. Mo, the song is actually old. For anybody, I wrote the song when I was incarcerated in 2002. Okay, the song is old. I, it's footage of me performing that same song with a suit on and everything when I was a much younger boss. Not as handsome as I am today, of course, but you know, still the same younger boss though. So all I did was, it's a song full of questions, big bro. So all I did was, I just used the energy. If you're a performer, you have to know how to perform. That's what performing is about. He wanted to, this is. But in his eyes, boss, in his eyes, in his eyes, he thought that you were calling him out of respect for what he was doing. I did. So hold up. So 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 hold up. So what we doing is, and you, I, I can see where you at with it, but let me say this, right? And all due love and respect, right? So you, everybody's gonna. Ni- no 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 no. Of course, big bro. No, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying I, what I'm about to say. Is, I'm telling you, I'm coming from respect and love. What I'm saying is, right? I don't want to overlook what I did in the beginning. I don't want to be. I don't want things to be overlooked what I did before and during and even after the event. I showed that brother nothing but love and talked nothing but good about him. But if we friendly competition, then I'm supposed to spar. How do we go from, he started this. How do we go from, yo, let's do this to now I'm in my feelings. Because if he would have won, I would have had to cave, I would have had to salute my big brother, pay him homage. But see, like, you would have done it. See, I can't hear you, big bro. Are you br- you break it up. You break it up, big bro. You really break it up. I'm sorry. Can you can you say it again? I I can't I can't bro. You really break it up, bro. I'm sorry. I'm serious. Can you it's like back away from the phone a little bit? It's like maybe we, every word you say is like the speaker go out. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. So let me ask you a question. Yeah, yeah. That's right. The stage and did what you did. You feel me? We bat we we perform as battling. I mean, I'm here to perform. I'm not here to play with you. But see, 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 nobody else knew. Nobody else knew what was going on. Cause like in my mind, I was like, yo, this nigga boss was going. Like, yeah. <laughs> Hold on, six got a question. Let's six ask the question. Go ahead, bro. Hey yo, um, Mo, like I, because I was trying to tell him that. Early, I was like, you brought him on stage on a song called "Fake Gangster." Yeah, and y'all supposed to be ba- and y'all supposed to be battling. But we. Hey, this one, this one, this one, I'm looking at. This Yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 
about the performance but we knew it was a battle he knew it was a battle he knew it he, he admitted it on the end of the day he knew it was a battle he didn't know about how it was gonna go down because the irony of it all was this I leaked Fake Gangsta. Fake Gangsta, fake gangsta is get raw release tomorrow officially you can download it pay for it whatever you want to do tomorrow but I leaked it a week ago and I told him when he jumped out the window and the battle man I said yo bro my song is out there you can go listen to it let me hear what you got he said nah nigga I ain't letting you hear nothing I ain't letting you hear nothing. The song, is, the song is old. The song is old. It won't get to him. Thank you. I just performed it to him. That's all. See, That's all. Like, see, that don't even sound good when you hear it out loud, yo. But I'm just telling you what I did. Janet Jackson took a nigga on the stage and made him come in his bands, and then she ain't going to jail for rape, but I can bring a nigga on the stage. I fuck with it, perform it to him, and I remember, I'm the world's haters. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> Nah, we, we, we ain't nothing. Like, that's my brother. I just even set it up here again, even when I was cursing his bum ass out because he bummed out last night. I told him, yo, listen, nigga. You can't play with me, man. He turned his back, Mr. Mo. You know you don't do that when you perform. Am I right or wrong, Mr. Mo? Do you turn your back when you perform it? You're a performer. I mean, and you're right. Okay. I didn't know that y'all had a little It was mad love. Mad love. Yes, yes. 514, 100. Seven o'clock. Yes, two and yeah, yeah, yeah. Give us a cousin. Hey, yo, my bad. I just nah, you good. You good. Nah, you good, big bro. Nah, you good. I promise you, you good. Thank you, man. Thank you for calling in, man. Power by Virginia. We out here. Don't get us canceled. <laughs> That's a band. Love you too, big bro. Big Lux gang in the building. Real talk. Thank you, man. Next week, we outside. I got to go to the big face. I'm sorry that things did that, but we ain't, I didn't expect you that. Never, you never know what they expect. I hope we don't get canceled because I was cursing. <laughs> That's it, man. Which show you gonna be on, man? So many. Power by Virginia, we pop. You know what? I'm gonna be on with whatever promote you. I love it. That's how you do it. I don't have no say. But what? I just wanna promote you, bro, and promote myself. Well, can we get a drop from you, man? Can you you shout out, this might get us canceled? Can you give us a drop since we got you on the line? This might get us canceled. Power by Virginia. Let's get a drop right here. Where the food at, bro? <laughs> Where the food at? Where the drop at, though? What happened to the food? <laughs> what? I got sidetracked, too. I want to know where the food was at. Shit. Wait, no. You got to say, <laughs> no, fuck, wait. <laughs> Yo. You do the same, brother. All right, man. Peace. Peace. We still ain't getting drop if you still watch it, but we'll get it. I'll call you. We'll get it. I promise you. But um, yeah, I yeah. It needed to be taken care of. Things need to be said. Yeah. You can never talk about my mouth ever again. Ever in life. No. Like, no, look, look. <laughs> you 
get asked. That's not fair, bro. My my truth was erased. Do you all agree that my I, if I tell you to your face as a man and you know me, you cannot and you should never take my truth away out of my mouth when you know there's no malice behind the action, behind something we knew we agreed to do. You know what I'm saying? You can't take my truth away, replace it with your feelings of what went down, and then carry me as such. Because that's unfair to me, bro. You erasing truth from the whole thing. And what you're doing is you're making me to be the bad guy or the fall guy because you didn't become out the victim like you thought you was going to be. But you have a blunt and look at it and they ain't had no cigarettes. Okay, we leave it there. <laughs> we gonna leave on that one. I just hey, wanted to put that out there because yeah. he be busting my balls. I gotta be twenty five. I got <laughs> when it's the big face bully man. Always look up, never look down, look forward, never look back. Hey, yo, six cents, man. See y'all next time. Hey, I hope we ain't get canceled. I'm out of here. Peace. Radio.